Hey there, my name is Brian Baldwin, and I wanted to do a quick tech showcase for how you can get pop-ups configured using Arcade in ArcGIS Online for advocacy work. An example of this is from the, Glo the Global ALS Clinic Locator, and also some of the applications for doing center and clinic locators as featured on the ALS.org site. So the challenge that we had is We've got clinics located globally, and I need to present information that might only be relevant in certain locations at certain times. For example, if we click in the US, we have all of these different certifications that might not exist in international clinics. And if I go and click on an international clinic, let's say somewhere in Italy, you can see here we've got a local name in Italian and we don't have those certifications showing and we also have a phone number popping up. So this is really easy to do based on all the attributes you have saved in one layer. And I wanted to show quickly how you can do this with Arcade. So first thing first, we needed to build some attribute expressions. And for me, the first time I looked at these, um, you know, I don't have a background in web design or coding, so it was a little overwhelming. But Arcade is basically JavaScript for using it in a number of different ways. In this case, it's really just for pop-ups. And the first example I'm gonna show is probably the most basic, and it's just to deliver the phone information. If I click phone and open up the expression, we're creating a basic expression that's looking using an if statement. So if this attribute is empty, this feature.phone, so if feature phone is empty or is not empty, apologies, you can see the nots or the, the sign we have there, the exclamation point, which is basically negating this. So if this is not empty, then I wanna return it. And we're gonna return some text inside double quotes, plus to concatenate these, that features attribute. So now dynamically, as I click on the map, I'll be able to pop up that information related to just the phone number attribute for that feature that I've selected. So this is a really basic one. And the one thing I love here, if I go and click is, um, there's now kind of suggestions as you type. So there, if I said, if, and it's filling it out for me, doing the bracket saying, you know, if one is one or one equals one, you know, make something happen. So let me get rid of that and I'll do my not is empty kind of pre-populating for me and that value and if i go and select that and start typing the feature can tab period and now it's actually pre-populating all of the different fields that are in that data set all the attributes and let's go and select phone so you can see there in about five seconds i was able to kind of build that out on the fly and it's giving you those recommendations or suggestions for you. The power here is really checking to see if that feature has a value in it or not. So is it not empty, you know, that feature.phone? And if it's not, then return that value to the user. Let's look at one that's a little bit more complex. Um, in this case, the specialties. So let me click the specialties. And so for this one, we've defined a variable called US. And this variable is really just defining the way that we wanna return the attributes and some text inside of the pop-up. And so the variable US equals ALSA certified and a, a semicolon, and we're inside a double exclamation points, plus to concatenate the value of feature ALSA certification plus a text format of a new line. So we're using a built-in arcade function and just create a new line there. And then importantly, we need to have that plus sign for that new line of text. And so if I come down, a trick that I used here is I only want to return this information if I have data that is relevant. And in this case, I know that I only have data for that if the country is the US. So I'm using, again, just that if clause to say, if the feature country is the United States, return US, return that variable we just defined for the pop-up information. And I'll hit cancel. 
And so these other five expressions are basically doing the same thing. It's either checking to see if a field is empty in the case of the fax numbers, or if I come up to the local clinic name, I'm looking to see for this global, defining a variable global is the local clinic name. And, oh, this one's kind of fun, it's cool. So we're actually doing a, a nested if statements. So if the feature country is not the United States, we wanna get all the international ones because they'll potentially have a local name. But then I was having some issue where we were having some extra blank space put into the pop-up, which we didn't need. And so I wanted to nest another if statement to say, and if that local clinic name, it has a value if it's not is empty. So if it has um, a feature inside of it, then return that value. So nesting two if statements, kind of a fun little trick. Hit cancel. And let's go back and see now how we've put these attribute expressions into the pop-up information. Go back, go to my text. You could add a new text field if you want to here, and let's do it in this case. So I'll hit add a new text field, and I can then start typing in those expressions to pull them up. So let's just make a quick um, attribute. So. We'll grab my expression one, which is that local clinic name. Grab expression of the address. Let's grab the expression. And you can see here, I can actually start typing in the name of those expressions I've given them or just expression to kind of see the ones that I've defined in Arcade. And let's grab the, the specialties. So we have the local name the address and the specialties. And at any point here, you can go to your source to see how this is getting formatted. And one thing I actually don't like that happens here is it's putting in a space character, which we can actually get rid of to make sure that additional spaces are not placed into the pop-up if there's no values for these expressions. Because in some of these, there might not be a phone number or there might not be those specialties, and I don't need that space character in there if that's the case. To hit OK, we need to go back off of the code, then I'll hit OK. And I'm actually going to delete this one so we can just see the new one we define. So let's go over to Italy again. I'll click. Oh, I'm in Switzerland. Apologies. You can see here now we get the local clinic name popping up, that first expression. Here's the address. And we're not seeing information related to the specialties because that data, if we're outside the US, if you remember the way we kind of built that formula. And so it's not gonna present anything because there was no data for that area. If I pan over to the US and select, we get a address we get the clinic certifications and we don't have a local name because this is in the us and we didn't define that we wanted to have a local name presented here so i hope that was helpful wanted to show a little bit of behind the scenes how you can have some really robust pop-ups and present information to users based on the attributes you have in a web map and you can use some really basic expressions in arcade to present information to users uh, based on really what they need to see in a specific locale. So get out there, create some maps for advocacy work. I'm excited to see what you all build. Thanks.